Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best NVIDIA cards for Ethereum mining. I'm going to be talking through some of the actual performance characteristics and also the cost per hash ratio that you can get from these cards and you know what the overall experience might be like from a, a few selection of different cards within the actual NVIDIA range. Uh, what I would like to point out is that NVIDIA cards are not actually the best cards for Ethereum mining. They're good all-round cards for a combination of mining different algorithms and also uh, gaming. But for Ethereum, they're not actually the most um, efficient or they don't have the highest performance uh, on a card basis in comparison to the AMD cards. Uh, however, with that actually being said, um, there's lots of other benefits from the actual cards. Obviously, they make uh, great gaming cards. Um, I have an NVIDIA uh, card myself. Um, in previous generations, I've always gone with AMD, but this time around, I felt that uh, NVIDIA offered a, a better gaming solution for my particular uh, requirements. So, the NVIDIA have created some really good uh, performance cards. Um, for a combination of different sort of uh, reasons. So really what I wanted to make this video for is to show you that if you're actually thinking about buying it primarily as probably a gaming uh, card, that you can also use it for uh, Ethereum mining and get some extra performance benefits from that as well. And maybe even make a return on your actual graphics card. So what I'd like to share with you now is a combination of a few different cards. I've just uh, measured in terms of performance and efficiency and also the actual cost of the cards for themselves. Um, this list is in no uh, particular order. Um, it's not a uh, first, second or uh, position, placed position for these um, cards. Um, each card has its own uh, merits and is suitable for the person uh, depending on exactly their individual needs. Um, so I'm going to share with these uh, cards with you now and um, yeah, hopefully you'll find this uh, useful. Okay guys, so let's take a look at our first NVIDIA Ethereum miner. So this is a MSI GTX 950, a 2GB version, and it's a entry level uh, gaming graphics card. I was debating originally whether to include this uh, in this comparison or not. Um, because it is a 2GB card, um, it's only going to have a limited lifespan with regards to mining Ethereum. Um, no one knows exactly what that lifespan will be, but um, as the network, the Ethereum network continues to grow, um, it has higher and higher memory requirements. So that means a two gigabyte card may have somewhere in the region of between three to six months that it might actually only be able to mine Ethereum. So I just wanted to point that out um, initially. So two gig cards are not really ideal for Ethereum. They're only going to have a short uh, lifespan. Um, okay, so with that being said, uh, this is the GTX 950 and it is a entry level uh, gaming card. Uh, the one in the actual slide is a MSI Armor Edition and it costs £113. Uh, the core clock is 1076MHz with a boost clock of 1253. It mines at a rate of 10 mega hashes per second and it's going to use about 90 watts. So this is a good starter card uh, for as an introduction to PC sort of gaming if you're on a budget um, this card will start you off. Um, in terms of actually Ethereum mining um, it's a good little miner that uses uh, very very little uh, power and provides a reasonable hash rate. So. This is a good card to start off with. So you're looking into uh, you know just a general introduction to gaming. Uh, this card will start you off nicely. Okay, so the second card on our list is a GTX 960, and it's a four gigabyte version. Um, there's lots of two gigabyte versions, but this is the four gigabyte version. Um, as I mentioned in the previous uh, section, uh, the two gigabyte cards are only going to have a limited lifespan when it comes to mining. Ethereum. So it's always best to get um, at least a free or four gig uh, card and that way you're going to extend the actual uh, the maximum amount of lifetime usage you're going to get from the actual card uh, particularly with regards to mining Ethereum. It has a very uh, specific uh, memory requirements um, that need to be uh, catered for. So this is the GTX uh, 960 and this is a gigabyte version in the actual slide. 
The cost of the card is £162. It has a claw clock of 1165 and a boost clock of 1228 MHz. So pretty good uh, clock speeds. The mega hash uh, per second or the hash rate of this card is only 10 mega hashes, which is, uh, as you all would have seen, is the same as the GTX 950. So it's a higher spec card with more memory, but you're still only getting the same uh, hash rate as in the previous section. Um, it also uses slightly more power at 120 watts. So it's going to cost you more, it's going to hash the same, and it's going to use a little more power. And this is actually a better card for gaming, it's going to run uh, better for gaming, and it's also going to be better for mine. Like I say, you're going to get those uh, longer term benefits. So between this one and the 950, I would probably would more likely recommend um, to spend a little bit more money and go for the GTX 960 over the 950, um, really for those uh, memory reasons. Okay, so the next card is a little bit of a wild card. It's uh, the GTX 780 Ti. You can also get the regular 780s and they are three gigabyte cards. Um, now this is actually the top spec uh, card for the previous generation of NVIDIA GPUs. So going back um, two years ago approximately, and this would have been your top spec kind of a gaming card. Uh, the one in the actual slide is a, a reference design, so it's got um, like a tumbler fan and a vapor chamber. Um, and like I said, this card would be very good for gaming, uh, even at, by present standards. Um, you know, it's a really good gaming card. Um, and it's also uh, pretty good for mining Ethereum as well, uh, with a few considerations. So you can only pick these cards up, as far as I've seen, is um, on Amazon and eBay. You can only buy them used. Um, the price that you're sort of looking around uh, about £220. And um, the 780 models come in about a little bit less, um, up to about 200 for those. Uh, the core clock on this is much less than the previous ones, but the clock speed is not always a the best performance indicator. It depends on lots of different uh, factors as well. But the core clock is 875 and the boost clock is 928. You can see a big performance increase with this card. This one hashes at 18 mega hashes per second. So um, quite a significant improvement over the previous cards. Um, so the performance is definitely there for this card. However, um, this card is a bit of a power hungry card. It's going to use up to about 250 watts. So if you are using this card for Ethereum mining, um, you probably want to uh, utilize some power saving methods. So you probably want to maybe underclock it or perhaps even uh, undervolt the card as well. And then that way you're still going to get great performance, but it's not going to uh, cost you a fortune in electricity costs. So like I say, this one's only a, a used card, uh, available as a used card, and you can pick those up from Amazon and eBay. So yeah, a good performance card with some good features, but like I say, it's a last generation card, but you know, that can be a positive as, as well. Okay, so now we're actually on the last card within our list, and it is the GTX 970 uh, 4GB. Uh, the one in the actual slide is a MSI, um, I think it's an Armour series um, card with a twin fan design um, and it's pretty good. It's, this is actually one of the cheapest cars that I could find within this uh, series of cars within the 970 series. The price is actually um, quite varied. Um, the cheapest I found was about 245 and they go up to about 290 depending on uh, exactly which brand you go for, uh, fan configuration and clock speeds, that kind of thing. This uh, MSI one has a core clock of uh, 1102 and a boost clock of 1241. Um, so pretty good clock speeds. Um, that is comparable with the other cards within the range even though the price point is um, a little bit less. Uh, the GTX 970 hashes at about 18 and a half uh, mega hashes per second and it's going to use about 145 watts. So this is a really good um, card for gaming, PC gaming, and it's also a pretty good uh, card with regards to a Fury mining. Um, I actually know quite a bit about this card because um, I actually have a GTX uh, 970 in my home machine. Um, it's actually a different version to this one in the actual picture. I have the uh, twin Frozer version and that is a really good 
card. Uh, one of the primary reasons that I bought it was um, obviously in terms of gaming performance it has performed very well um, but also the actual twin van design was um, highly recommended. I, w I read quite a few reviews and watched a lot of videos as well and it's also one of the quietest performance uh, fans as well so that was the uh, twin Fraser edition. Um, I'm not too sure how quiet the one in the actual uh, slide will perform but um, I guess it probably performs on a similar kind of level, maybe not quite as good. Um, the model that I have is, I think it's about 279, and there's a few other different versions is of this particular series of card, uh, the GTX 970. There is lots of uh, manufacturer options uh, for it, and all sorts of different fan configurations as well. So um, shop around uh, for those, you can get some uh, very good deals and like I say the price varies from about 245 up to about 290. It is a really good card all round, uh, particularly for gaming and also for Ethereum mining. I've actually used the GTX 970 to mine um, all sorts of different uh, coins on different algorithms and it's performed very well across the board so yeah, uh, don't um, dismiss Nvidia totally. You know, if your primary reason for buying is for gaming, then you know, stick to your guns and go with that. I just kind of wanted to show you within this video that you could also uh, combine that with um, a little bit of a, a cryptocurrency mining on the side, and um, yeah, hopefully get a return for your money. Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. I just want to share with you the performance of some of the actual uh, Nvidia graphics cards across the whole uh, series and um, share with you some of the performance characteristics and um, that kind of information. Um, so mm -hmm. I really wanted to relate to you that if you are considering a NVIDIA graphics card, uh, mostly, probably most likely you'll be purchasing for gaming reasons, that you can combine it with uh, cryptocurrency mining and also get the benefits of that as well. So I hope you found this uh, video to be informative and useful. Um, as always, I appreciate any your feedback and comments um, so you can leave those in the comments box uh, below um, if you like it um, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to see more videos um, like this so till next one guys thanks very much for watching take care